Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. Uh, this one is going to be on Rey Mysterio, WCW's Ultimate Cruiserweight. Um, so Rey is the trial, you guys are all getting to play him at 5 star bronze. I have him unlocked at 5 star gold for this preview. Then he will go away. <clears throat> He's an Attitude Era Trickster. He's got a couple links, the WCW link, any color moves, start with one more move point, and the Attitude Era, gems do 10% more damage. He does have two, actually three gears. Uh, I have them all for this preview. Uh, the first gear makes moves that generate column break gems create six more. And the second one makes column break gems do 619 more damage. I like that percentage in Ode to his finisher. Um, so the gears are very powerful. Um, I'm assuming this weekend event will be similar to Seth's event, so don't know how obtainable both gears will be at this point, um, but this preview has both gears, so uh, I'm going to work with the assumption that if you watch this preview, you're going to have uh, potentially both gears, and thus a lot of rare trainers and that kind of thing. So it'll be a little bit different vibe than normal for my previews. Also, I will be doing a five-star bronze preview with the trial. That will be more like my typical preview. So expect that one later. Um, but let's get this one out of the way with the official card and see how he is with the gears. He's very strong, I'll tell you that. Uh, he's a coach at 18k, take 30% less damage from yellow moves. Uh, situationally useful. So I'm going to have three build sets for you guys. Um... And let's take a look at the strap. I'm going to use the cheap shot in all these. I rather like the cheap shot. He hits some big hits, so cheap shot makes sense for blowing up the board. I'll list some secondary options as well. Uh, Double Fury, definitely. Um, and I also have a max tier 4 purple move damage medal on, so you guys can see the kick out. I know a lot of talk around the kick out is it's quite large. So I'm just going to start off and kick things off with the kick out. Uh, and I'm going to run a triple uh, purple build to show off the, the kick out. It'll also let me show the finisher and the trap gem move all in one go. So we got the West Coast Pop 10 MP purple finisher. Deal 117k damage, choose 7 purple gems to destroy. Reversal, kick out of pin, and deal 1 million damage at the end of your turn. And then the Mysterio Canrana, 5 MP purple, deals 64k damage and choose 6 gems to make into trap gems. If broken by your opponent, move the pin bar left by 7 notches. If broken by you, increase your purple gem damage by 15% for 2 turns. Basically, we're going to pin ourselves with this trap gem if we do this right. A lot of different ways you can run this. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm going dual purple MP trainer. The Woods and Farouk, and then I have Gooker and um, Hall of Fame Trish on to maximize that uh, reversal, the kickout. And then we're going to have the move damage metal going as well on the kickout. It's going to make the kickout very, very chunky. Uh, so let's get out there and see how this one works. So the idea behind this is we put the trap gems on matches Ivar will match. Very likely to match this red one, uh, as red as his primary color. Um, and you can see uh, we're ready to go with the kick out right away using dual MP trainers. It's going to do 2.6 million damage, but we still uh, have, have a ways to go after we do that. So it is high damage, and I think with Ray, uh, the kick out is kind of a trap move for him. Um, it, it's amazingly huge. It's really big numbers, but what, how well, what does it actually do in comparison to the other possibilities you would have if you had both gears? Uh, let's find out. I'm going to break the black up here because that's probably his secondary color. So much more likely he's going to break these now and pin me like that, which is exactly what we want. Because uh, now we can fire off this kick out and deal 2.6 million damage. Um, you see I have cheap shot on here. You could also run any plate that gives you purple on a match. I have, I think this is what the rock's cooking. Or time once again, I get them mixed up. Uh, showing there, but that would be match 3 red, get 3 purple. In this case, it wouldn't help you. I think the smoke plate goes blue to purple, in which case smoke plate would work in this particular situation. Anyway, either of those would be fine. 
Um, sadly, I won't be able to fill the kick out, so um, I'm going to go ahead and take the trap gems off the board at this point. Because I'd rather not get pinned because I don't have the kick out charged. But we're going to fix that right here. Finisher hit for 300k. And then we're destroying some purples. We'll destroy this. It'll give us a cascade. And that's all we can do. So we'll leave that one so we can get the extra. There we go. Decent cascade. Buff the gem damage. About 600k on the finisher since we broke our own traps. And Ivar kicked out. He no-sold it. But that's okay, we're completely loaded now, um, and the finisher's loaded, so all we need to do is get pinned one more time. And if he doesn't do that here, he surely will when we get the traps out, assuming I put them in the right spot. It's kind of most likely... Whatever he does, he's going to pin us right now, so just spreading those out. You can see this, well, it hits very hard. It's not necessarily super easy to fill and um, it's very situational, so I don't particularly love the move set. Um, it definitely hits hard, right? Because uh, now he's dead. And you notice the kickout damage doesn't come off until you take your next action. Um, so it's all going to go away now. And we don't need to destroy anything. Um, so Ivar's done. And that's his kickout move. Uh, buffed as much as I could buff it, to give you guys a good look at that. So the next two move sets are going to be extremely similar. Um, the first one would be like a showdown style build, uh, or if you don't want to use an MP trainer, uh, you can get this one loaded if the board works out in your favor without using a MP trainer. Uh, and these these next two will both be four star move sets. So let's swap everything out. We are going to bring in the Tilt-A-Whirl Head Scissors. 1 MP green, deal 25k damage and make 5 random yellow gems into blue gems. Then we are going to bring in the um, Diving Splash. 6 MP blue, deal 72k damage and choose 4 gems to make into um, Column Break gems. Also keep in mind though we have the gear, so that's actually 10 Column Break Gems. And then uh, the Diving Hurricane Rana. 6 MP Blue. Deal 68k damage and choose 6 gems to make into Purple Gems. So that's our setup. Entourage we're going to swap out. So keep in mind with the with the third gear. Um, basically that makes every Column Gem a Multiply times 6 gem. So we're going to buff our gem damage. And we're also blowing up the board. So we want to buff our gem damage. And then purple's his strongest gem. So we're going to put uh, Acrobat Brian on there so we can make and choose 10 purples. Um, this way we can get a bunch of essentially times 6 multiply purple gems out there. Oops. That's not who we want to use. We want to use Generate. Right here. So now we're choosing 10. And then we are going to buff the purple gems big time. So we're going to use Lacey and then Motu Ray to really get that purple gem damage up there. And in a, in a perfect world, we are going to choose um, and put purples on every column break gem. So we get times six or 619 on them. <laughs> And then we're also using Double Fury, um, so that's going to help. And you can see 17k on the purple gems right now, so those are going to be quite beefy. Um, with the gear, the this hits really, really hard. So we're going to have at least 10 uh, column break gems, and um, 
we can choose 10 purples. So we should get at least... Oh, well, I think that maths out to pretty close to a million damage just on that part alone. So let's see if we have any yellows next to blues, and we can turn one this. You could also run this for showdown, obviously. And we do. Uh, although we did cascade and cause a pin, so it was a perfect scenario. We filled everything up until we pinned. But you can see you can get that ready turn one without an MP trainer. And now we are going to make some column break gems. And I'm going to go ahead and put them down here at the bottom. And then we're going to use our choose move and fill in the column breaks, as it were. And because purple's our best gem, we will cover up uh, weak gems with what's left over. So that would be loot boxes, right? And this is going to really be a big kablooey. Uh, 1.5 million? I can live with that. And you can load it without an MP trainer. So if you get uh, both gears, obviously, this is going to be really, really strong, guys. If you manage to get both gears. Fast and strong. And now let's take a look at the final move set. We're going to bring one move in. Um, and one move only, and change one trainer. It's basically the same thing, except we're using a different 1 MP move. The other one. And the springboard cross body. Deal 33k damage and make four random purple gems into column break gems. Uh, so basically, that's 10 because of the gear. So... Uh, we're going to make all of the purple gems column breaks to start, and then we're going to choose. So we're going to get a lot, extra, a lot of extra damage that way. And in place of Slick Rick, we want to start right away, so we're going to use Lawler. Otherwise, everything else will stay the same. This is my favorite moveset for him with the gear, for sure. And it makes a very, very big boom. So start off and you want to make all the purples. Uh, we only have five, so it could be a lot more, but it's not terrible. And then we're going to choose our column breaks. And it doesn't matter, we're going to turn them all purple, and our purples are already full. Um, I think blue is one of his stronger gems. Other than that, I should know for sure, really. If I was... Uh, if I was a good content creator, I would know for sure. And then we're going to change everything purple we can. Because that's our best gem. Uh, which I think every column break gem we got. So this is going to hit really hard. Little cascade. 1.88 million after the reduction. So again, really nice, fast, easy to do on turn one. Um, and a very, very good build. Uh, I, if you manage to get Ray and both gears, you're going to be happy, right? I mean, it's not very hard requirements to hit that hard. Um, and just really easy to use. So um, I don't know how realistic both gears are going to be. And, of course, it wouldn't be a preview without a crash, but that's okay. We're done. Um, I am going to, like I said, be doing another preview with the trial so you can see him without gears. I'm not going to equip the gears on the trial, um, and I'm just going to show you guys what he looks like like that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hopefully it's a good, uh, a good feud weekend. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be interesting to see the details when that comes out. And remember to like, subscribe, and share as that really helps me out, guys. Thanks for watching, and good luck.